Okay. And we're back. All right. I am just trying to remember. So the divine dragon just attacked Denningrad for the second time. And okay, yeah, I think we've got to go back into. I'm just trying to remember where we left off. So I did some training. You'll notice. <coughs> Between. <laughs> Sorry, I'm choking over here. Between um, now and our last video, so I maxed out Mana's Hero because I hate it. Training, you see? Yeah, I got everybody up to Dragoon level 5 and. I'm gonna switch Hammer Spin. <laughs> Taking their fat or strong rotations. Gosh, I don't know what came over me, I'm sorry. <laughs> as soon as he said training, I thought about me not training at all. At the gym, yeah. Since this lockdown. Ugh, I feel like I'm in a movie. Okay, so at the end of the last video, I got two Stardust that are right here. They're like side by side on this mat thing. So this Martel, we're going to talk to her in a minute, but not right now. We're going to go get our Stardust. There's three left in the city. So when we destroyed Deadingrad, there's five. There's three outside of the castle and two in. So there's one in here in the clinic. So if you were in a movie... Hi, Shauna. What character would you be? Like in that movie, Contagion. Oh, I watched that years ago. I don't remember anything about it. I would be Matt Damon, because I'm good looking. I would be Kate Winslet, because I'm obsessed with redheads, I guess. I oh, yeah, I know. I, for that. I gave it to you. <laughs> Kate Winslet. Or, She's a babe. Yeah. That's the same one that did Titanic, eh? It is, yeah. And I think she was Matt Damon's wife that died from virus in that movie, wasn't it? I don't remember anything about it. I just remember that those two were in it, literally. I watched it like 10 years ago or whenever it was new. I do love her, though. She was great in Eternal Sunshine and Spotless Mind. It was a good movie. This one's clean. Yeah. One up here. There we go. And then one up with the Queen and the Sisters. This is when I always forget where this one's at. Okay. There we go. Bye, girls. So we got all the Stardust. We got, um... So, yes, there's only one left in the disc. We should have 45 right now. Yep. One in Velweb. City we go to. Oh, we're on with this. The end of the third disc. This is like my favorite part of the game. Mine too. It's your favorite. I just remember being a kid and like, shit hits the fan at the end of the third disc and it just, like, it's turned my world upside down when I was a kid. Did it really? It did, like. It just made you lose concept of reality? Yeah. You were living too far in the Dragoon world? Gave me trust issues, I'll tell you. Like... So I forgot to talk to Martel earlier. You could talk to her long before this, and I should have, because the first item she gives you is one that I always use on Rose. Which kind of sucks, but that's alright. And what's coming up here? Do you need to... We gotta go fight the Divine Dragon, oh, right, so... Okay. I want to get this item so that Rose has got more HP. Talk to me, Mirror? No, the item that I get from Miru with her HP, and we get, oops, um, in the Mount Mortal Dragon Tomb. Right, okay. Here, Martel, I'll take 45 of them. They're so hard to find. What does she do with all the Stardust? You find out. Oh, do you? Yeah, it's a part of the story later. Oops. And it's I like, talk to you anymore. if you gave them all, it's a good rating? If you give them, if you get them all and you give them to her all 50, she gives you the Vanishing Stone, which is how you fight Magician Faust, because he has a projection of himself guarding his dungeon area. And you need the Vanishing Stone to beat that ghost. Uh, to get I see. So yeah. it's a side quest line. Mm -hmm. Not necessary, but... Good. Okay. I was wondering how that magician Faust worked in there. Yeah. 
<laughs> Loading PlayStation <laughs> SCEA. Shut up. Computer. I hate sound checks. Leave me alone. My whole life playing music and performing and stuff like that, and it is my least favorite part of it. Is there no item in this game that you can just use to avoid basic battles? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's a charm potion, but you can only carry 32 items and I'm not wasting one for a charm potion. I'd rather run away from the battle at that point. But better to train and... Train? Oh, I didn't have a cough ready. I forgot that it was a cool boogie. That's pretty attractive. He's cute. How do you keep your hair stuck up like that? Right? It's like an animal that fears danger at a certain point. Mm. That's how my back hair reacts too. <laughs> when I do something wrong. So what's going on? You're going to fight Divine Dragon. We're on our way to the Mount Mortal Dragon Tomb. This is the mountain where the long gone Winglies, quote unquote, um, they sealed the King of Dragons in. He could not be beat. He could not be conquered. He was just rogue. So they used the Dragon Block staff and the, they uh, bound him in with chains of the mountain. Where he's laid dormant for thousands of years. Yeah. Ready to come out and take his but revenge the magic, on Darsh. The magic seal that they put in on him is dissolved. Right. Did they not use the right ingredients? There's a reason it dissolved. Oh, it's not alchemy, is it? Yeah. I just watched that recently on The Office, but... Oh. Oh, what is Dwight's that? talking yeah. to uh, Joe. Wait, you mean alchemy? <laughs> well, but what is it that- Oh, like how he's been getting paid really well because of, uh, Saber's commission structure. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. And she's like, well, you got all this money, like, you'd be stupid not to invest it in real estate. Or, uh, invest it or make it grow or something. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna- you And then she stops, she's like- <laughs> You wanna duplicate that or you wanna- You mean alchemy? You know, like, we talking about alchemy? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite parts is later on when uh, Nellie comes into it, Nellie Bertram, and she has that bad history with the magician boyfriend, and they hire the magician for the birthday, and Dwight he pisses Dwight off or something. He's like, "Scram, wizard!" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Oh, when he gets after Gabe for cutting the protein powder with yeah. water, and he's trying. <laughs> you seen something he's recently? Drunk. We sat to gym. I don't train. I train until something cracks or breaks. Oh yeah, breaks or pops. Breaks or pops. Yeah. yeah. I don't stop until something breaks or pops. Well, so obviously he's your favorite. The office. Character. Oh, Dwight is something else. Yeah. Is he my favorite though? Um, uh, yeah, he's got to be. I guess all my favorite moments are Dwight moments, but I love Creed. I feel like he's just such an underrated character, and there's so much that happens with him. Like that's that why he's so underrated, easy though, to miss. They don't use him too often. Like when Ooh, Roy like attacks Jim, and Angela's kind of getting off on going around asking everybody the story. And she gets decreed, and he's like, it was late at night. The big guy comes in yelling about something. I think Albert had stolen his car. <laughs> and then he ends up, what is it? He says he's just like, and all of a sudden, Dwight comes out, sock full of nickels. Sock full of nickels. <laughs> Angela just rolls her eyes and leaves. He puts his glasses on and gets back to whatever it is he's doing. Um... He's a good character, but that's the reason he works so well. Did you know he has a name for every other person in the office that's not their real yeah. name? Yeah. Like, I know he calls Daryl yeah. Darnell. Yeah, he calls Meredith Mary Beth. There you go. So what are some other ones, Hannah? Um, 
Ooh. That's all Is you know. Dwayne, he calls Dwight? Dwayne, uh, it sounds familiar. I haven't been out there watching it as much. But, uh, I just could have kind of been on the background this watch through that I'm doing it, but I'll have to next time I watch through it start to finish, I'm going to write them all down as I catch them. Yes. What's he called, Jim? He doesn't he calls Jim something else, doesn't he? I thought he just called him the big fella. Yeah. It could be. I just know he had a certain name for every character. Oh, yeah. Or the episode he's playing chess with Jim or something and he's like, I want to set you up with my daughter. And he's like, oh, I'm married to Pam. Or he's like, well, I thought you were gay. Yeah. He's like, well, then why did you want to set me up with your daughter? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's classic. Yeah. Got to go one way down here. So, if you're still listening, I don't know if you noticed that the audio sounds a little better. Yes, yeah, we upgraded to a mic each. A mic each, so mm -hmm. we took the money we were making so far. Yep. And we can we throw it on the screen? Yep. And then we took that and put it in the ground. <laughs> yeah. And, and by the force of the alchemy. <laughs> more of the same oh, yeah. of what we put in there and we reinvested what came out of the ground back into the channel so hannah has her own mic she doesn't need to sit on top of me if you can envision what yeah the farther would i can like. be away from you the better now we were literally like shoulder to shoulder so you're sharing the last mic yes and it has seemed to clean things up a good bit. yeah this would be the first episode we did do some test records, but it did sound okay. So we get a couple people I know that are kind of watching through the series, so if you notice a difference on this one, let us know. Yeah, this is what we do. We care about our viewers here at this channel, where lunches are stored. Mm -hmm. And we want to like, give back to the community through better audio quality. Yes, it's all about you guys. Nobody else. Okay, and my bit's done. Can you take it for a minute yeah. there? Yeah, I just got a mind purifier, so it's all good. Oh, God, I forgot to stock up on items. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to fight the Divine Dragon, too. What have I got? Because I... I've got three healing fog. I've got a couple of healing breezes. That sucks. Um... Ah! Uh, I'm going back, so <laughs> going you, guys are, you guys are about to see something real special. You guys <laughs> never seen somebody use two magic items and artist she used. That's right. You wait. And we're not going to be lowering the attack, audio. Do I have attack items? You must always. You always seem to have them. I do inventory. typically keep them. That's one reason Mira was such a good. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look and at you that. got your speed up too. Fine. You put speed up in Mira right away. I'll just get Mirror to heal everybody before I go in. Because I can't use my Dragon anyway, because we're going to use the Dragon Block staff to lower the Dragon's defense. Same time, it increases humans' power over yeah. a Dragon. Look at these cute little babies. Why have I got to kill them? The Dragons? Yeah. They look like that, uh... I'm not going to say Charizard. What was the water one? Squirtle? Oh, yeah, Squirtle. But they're different color. Yeah, he was blue. These guys are greenish. Turquoise. Or... Oh, this thing here. Feels like that took forever. I know. Yeah, when you're not playing the game, I'm sure Rose's edition seems like it takes forever. I have everybody level. Oh, I wanted to heal with you. Yeah, everybody is. I'll do it next. Mirror's HP is looking pretty low to everybody else's. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. Until I get the dragon helm, I'm gonna pick a helmet up for her and a minute or two here. 
going to... She's still going to have less HP than Dart, you watch. Even when you bump it up by 50%, but... You know, one thing I notice mm -hmm. watching you play this whole game? They don't do victory dances anymore. Yes, they do. They all have different victory dances. I'm talking about, like, on newer RPGs. Oh, yeah, I know. Can you think of any? Did I say do victory dances after you win? Like, everybody's so happy they killed all those creatures that probably were going extinct and they just finished the job. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, yeah, we did it. Great job, job boys. And they're dancing and the music's no. happy. When's, When's the last time I played a new RPG? RPG? I, mean, I mean, the newest one we played would have been that new Final Fantasy. They didn't do it now. No, they didn't. When the battle was over, everybody just put their weapons away and they just went on their way, right? Yeah. Why was it such a thing in the 90s and early 2000s? To celebrate a victory yeah. over an enemy. Yeah, we just beat the big dragon. Yeah. yeah. Last one of its kind. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna we're chop it up for that. It's gonna be my new boots. Yeah, 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 but towards the Wigglies who sealed him. He was who dominated Dragon. Yeah, yeah never mind. Right. Nobody cares There's what you have to say. Shaking like a god hater. Why is she shaking? She's, She's an idiot. idiot. She be a dragon. Who would you be the white dragon then? I don't know. Anybody other than her. Literally anybody. Is her dragoon powers any good? Really good. Yeah, had she had to add something to make her eat. She got high HP, high HP, HP for your female characters. Wicked magic attack and defense, half decent speed, and her dragoon is awesome. The dragon bolt attacks and heals. Real good. Good time. Oh, we talked about this already, though. Mm hmm. Because all the males in the game seem to have high physical defense and physical attack. And the, the women, women are better with magic. Yeah. Does that make sense to you? Like, I don't know, if you think about their backstories, who these women are, right? It just kind of worked out that the women ended up being that way, right? Except for uh, Albert, because he had a good magical attack, didn't he? No. No? Okay. Oh my god, I didn't even. You didn't even what? Um, I forgot to heal her SP, her MP, so I could use her friggin'. He can use what's her name, no? Rose. Yeah, I watched her probably, probably do over again. Oh, because she's, she's so fast. fast. Oh, okay, good. Uh, go next. Oh, that's such a stupid way of attacking people. Don't you agree, him? Oh, yeah, he comes up and he kicks you in the face. He doesn't bite you. He doesn't scratch you. He just gives you, like, a double kick to the head. It'd be like an alligator that would drop kick you. Yeah. Instead of biting you. Come up and scratch you. Instead of biting you with his gigantic mouth. You know who I miss? Steve Irwin. Everybody does. Oh my god, no wonder. He was one of my favorite people of all time. Doesn't his son? Both of his kids. Ooh, oh my god. Nobody gave him a TV contract though for his stuff he does. Or... I don't know. But see, they're using social media more than anything, like they have their own shows and stuff, which probably more money in it that way for them. But oh god, both. Netflix, him, I mean, like. Yeah, that's true. But they're both carrying on their dad's work. So is his wife, Terry. I follow them all on Twitter. I'm just surprised not to see something like a Netflix special or... or they do a lot of, like, interviews on those, like, Jimmy Kimmel shows and stuff like that. Yeah. Jeez, who watches that? People I do. 40 to 60. And only just because they're his kids. It was so funny, I was scrolling through... When I finally found Bindi's profile for the first time, I was, like, just scrolling through something, and I saw this, like, beautiful blonde girl with, like, a spider on her face, and I just lost it, because I hate spiders. So I'm like, who in their right mind not only has to do that, but put it on social media. Like, what is your problem? 
And then I saw the last name and I'm like, aw. <laughs> so that's how I found Bindi and started following her. <laughs> That was disgusting. I think it's crazy. Let me know in the comments why they don't have like their yeah. own Netflix special. That is really strange. Because I don't know the internet. I don't understand the internet. Yeah, you're not a social media guy, so it would be harder for you to follow them if you You think to. I'd be a Roy, but I'm not a Roy. I'm definitely a Pam. Or did I get that right? Or did I screw up my face? I think Roy would be more than anti-social, not on social media yeah. kind of guy. But he understands what the internet is. It's a little black box. Yeah. Oh, I see. I thought you were still talking about the office. No, Roy. Why'd you say Pam then? Don't well, I Jen. screwed up her name. Jen, Jen. that's what it is. Oh, Jen, the IT thank crowd, you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're much more of a Jen when it comes to that kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm a Roy because I can fix it. I know how to tell people to turn it off three times and turn it back on again. <laughs> I love him. God, but I, I love don't the show. What an underrated either. show. Yeah. It'll definitely have to be like one of our future watch throughs. Oh god, yeah. That's one of the best shows ever made. And it was I that introduced it to you. Yep. Yeah. What was your feelings? And I was like, hey, Hannah. Oh, I, I like, like you. you. You're cool. <laughs> Just like me. Oh, I love you should check out this episode of IT Crowd. Yeah, I yeah I never heard of it until you showed it to me, but I fell in love with it right away. It's funny for you to say that, but at the same time, looking Lie. back, it's probably okay because most of the stuff you like right now is what? I didn't watch TV until you and I started dating. But you always had a knack for what type of content? British. Yes. I, all I watch go. is British TV. So yeah. it's funny that I never stumbled on that myself. Uh, uh, exactly, right? Yeah. On IT Crown, on your own? Yeah, the only thing that I would ever watch before you and I started dating was like British comedy stuff, British dramas, and The Simpsons. Yeah, because you watched a whole bunch of British stuff. Oh, stuff yeah. I didn't even hear of. Yeah. yeah. It was Mrs. Delphire. <laughs> Miss Brown. Uh, yeah, that's stuff. Uh, Skins. There's uh, stuff you're watching on YouTube or something, but... Yeah, everything I... Yeah. I don't know what I didn't realize that until was. you... I can't remember. I know what was the one you were streaming the other night or something? Oh, Faulty Towers. Oh, I love Faulty Towers, yeah. Um, yeah, I never realized it until you pointed it out that time, too, that, like, I do love British programming. Yeah, and it's the only things I've seen you watch before we started dating. Mm. As we got to know each other, I guess. Uh, the one exception would be Impractical Jokers. Mm -hmm. It's the only, like, North American thing that I watched. You turned It's funny, you didn't find the British version of it. Yeah. Well, I never had Netflix or anything before we started, just... My DVDs of The Simpsons, that's all I watched. Right, I think when we started, Netflix was, like, DVDs only. Netflix? No, you're thinking of Redbox. Am I that old, or...? Mm -hmm. Super young. Netflix is always, a, as far as I know, Netflix is always a streaming service. That could be wrong. I thought it was DVDs at the start of it. No, that was Redbox. Those boxes inside the Walmart oh. that you would put three bucks in and get a movie. And you didn't have to return it after. I don't remember how they work. That's a thing. Well, I never used it. So. I, I just went times. like every week and I asked for a video game rental from my mom. <laughs> She just told me, we'll see. We'll see. And every time I hear that phrase, it just makes me curl up into a fetal <laughs> position and cry. You didn't know you're not getting it. The odd time I got a rental on Sunday night, which is rare for a school night. Very rare. Okay, I've been talking a lot too much, Hannah. We missed a lot of what just happened. Yeah, get on the get on the trolley. So we need a speed up on mirror? Um, I don't use the speed up with her. So no, it use... would make her go super fast. Yeah, but I'm not going to waste her turn. No. <sighs> God, I hold my breath when I do that. It's not good. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Yes. 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 
So what happened? I thought you were going to tell us what happened because so yeah, I was so talking I, about something and we, it went on for 20 minutes. We come up to fight the Divine Dragon. Oh, I forgot to use the speed up. And we find Lloyd already fighting him. And I'm not sure where Lloyd's at right now, but we kind of took over because Lloyd was wounded, you could tell, when he kind of came into the screen there. Um, but we have not really found out why he's here yet. So he came in, he was fighting the Divine Dragon, mm -hmm. and he seen Dart show up. Right. And he's like, look at that big sucker. <laughs> I bet you I can convince him to fight this guy for me that I'm clearly losing on right now yeah. because I'm showing damage. Yep. Oh, well, you could tell he was like leaning on his sword, so he was... And Dart was like, Lloyd! Who do you need to have be down here. right now? Yeah. I think Dark must really like Lloyd or something. Oh god, no. He killed the beats. Why would he like Lloyd? I don't know, but he's chasing him all this time. What's this teaching us? If it, it's like you have a fight with somebody, you just chase them down? Yep. That's a lot of damage. Not as much as the other one. But it's a lot of damage. Hey, Hannah. Hmm. I'm getting really freaked out. Why? What's wrong with that dragon's right arm? His right or our right? Oh, no. It, the left one's doing it too, but it's not as bad. I got the shaking on it, yeah. It's, yeah. You know what's that? Yeah, oh god. I don't know. Are you giving a hard time holding on to the side of that cliff or something? Oh, that's freaking me out. I mean, I guess it's because of... They had to animate him moving up and down. So there might not be... Ugh. Like, why is it shaking though? Oh, it, maybe it's shaking because as the main part of the body moves... The arms yeah, are readjusting to attach to where three it three needs to be. Doing the clearing that. Oh well, I think I've got him in the red already, which is good. Maybe yeah. he's just he's sick. Is that why you got him in the red? You're beating on him and causing him hey, to shake. Terrified. Oh, he's got fear on him. It's a good thing. I mean, you're in a boss fight here. He never countered on Rose's addition. Oh wow. I thought I had to stack up on items. Um, he's. He never countered on Rose's addition, so he's not going to counter at any point. If he counters at one point, he'll counter at that point at all, every time. That's something, like, what made you figure that? Because I played this as a kid and I gave up because I didn't really like the battle system. I have played this. I have beaten this game literally, probably, it has to be over 500 times in my life. I've never played anything more than I've played this game. And I've just noticed those patterns. Uh -huh. I could never figure out what the counters were. Then. But that was only like 10 or something. I started playing this 20 years ago. It'll be 20 years December 2nd this year. And I have not stopped. Maybe I was not 10. Maybe I was like 16. So maybe I wasn't the brightest kid in the box. <laughs> yeah, this you were 16 when this came out. But I was still there. Uh-oh. That is... That's the Divine Moon short. So that's why there was only ever seven Dragoons. There's eight elements and a Dragoon for each element. But the Divine Dragon, the king of his element, could never be killed. So they had ever gotten a stone out of his side. Until Dark showed up. That's right. And we just handed it to Lloyd. <laughs> so that's why the seal on the Divine Dragon began to dissolve. Lloyd wanted to get the stone out of his side. It's really cool how it's drawn in the background there. Okay. I always liked that stuff, but knowing what I know today, it's like, oh, that's one JPEG. There's another JPEG. Yeah, but they that's something they did really well in this game was the backgrounds and stuff. Settle thing. Alright, so 
Why so early? Battle. No early late? That will not? You're broken, you should have turned off and on again. How many times? Just once. And Just once, that's not your fix me, girl. We tried turning it off and on again. Low IT. Yeah, but I told you three times. God, I love Roy. So... And Moss, when he's getting bullied by those kids in the park. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And Roy finds out how old they are, too. Yeah. yeah. He gets the little hand, the little pea shooter. Oh god, that's a good show. Yeah, I would say definitely if... I know I worked in IT in that, but I'm more of a Roy type of character. Oh yeah, hands down. But I have known, in my career, Moss. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Characters. And Desmond. There's one guy in high school I used to know that reminded me a lot of Moss. Oh really? Yeah. That was his best friend. Known a lot of gens. <laughs> She's in the interview and so the woman's like, you know, I've always wondered what does IT stand for? And she has no idea. And Moss has got a concussion. And she tries to call Moss to figure it out. Oh. Golden. No, my favorite part in that series, though, is one of the last episodes when the bomb disposal robot's there, and it's not working, and the boys are skipping work, and they get caught, like, right trying to sneak in, so they're, like, right beside the bot, and then they get terrified, and they, like, freeze in fear. They're trying to troubleshoot it from a far with Buddy, and he's like, what operating system does it run on? And he's like, er, um, Vista. We're gonna die. Oh, and <laughs> yeah. that's even better is right before it. Same episode. Uh, they were at the mall. Wasn't Roy kind of trying to convince Moss to have young and stuff to be put in his bullies and stuff? Uh, that no, they are at the mall. That's when and Moss he steals shoplifting. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was it? Uh, they were going down the escalator or something. Guard was at Security the guard. Yeah, and they start trying to run up. Yeah. yeah. God, that's such a good show. Good times. The boss, Douglas. Oh my god. He is one of my favorite characters out of anything. I love that guy. And he's back in Disenchantment. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice seeing him again or hearing. He's got such a great voice. Yeah, he's... when he meets the Cyclops or the giant that Elfo gives the eye in Disenchantment, and he's just like. <laughs> I was the most handsome prince in all the land, and she that I tells the truth, or she can like see yeah. through everything, and she's like, that's true, he really believes that. <laughs> and then she takes him at the end of the episode, and Yeah, he's he was like, a pig for three seasons, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was turned into the pig in the first couple yeah, of episodes, episodes, and he stays a pig. And she goes to leave the village, and she takes him with her, and he's like, I was a handsome prince before I turned ugly and gruesome, what were you? And then she throws him back. <laughs> The hell with you. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah. I love Matt Groening. Anything Matt Groening puts his hands on is just brilliant. And Disenchantment is one of my favorite shows of all time now. Like, I love Tia Beanie so, so much. So why do you think he had to step away from The Simpsons to make I think IP? that right? The Simpsons has just been had too many cooks in the kitchen for too many years and he had just decided to step away from it. I know his name probably still tied to it. Well, he but... because it's as created by Matt Groening. Yeah. He did create The Simpsons. I don't but think clearly it's well. he's not a creative input on that no. show anymore. Which is too bad. It's it showed movie. on the earlier season. Yeah, I mean, the right up until so much different. Right up until season twenty-two, I feel like The Simpsons was really strong, up to and including season twenty-two. One of my favorite episodes in the whole series is in twenty-two, episode three, Money Bar. Is his coach in the ball theme? Oh my god. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh, Millhouse is all over that episode. Yeah. Lisa smat or like Dart loses it about all the spreadsheets and he throws them down. And I was like, oh, your spreadsheets. The alligators alligate? Yeah. The managers manage manage. Managers manage and players play. Do alligators alligate? I don't know. <laughs> no, the best part of that episode is when they're fighting at dinner. And Bart's on Lisa, or Homer's on Lisa's side, 
and Marge is on Bart's side because Lisa kicks Bart off the team for being going against her managing strategies and Marge is trying to mediate and bring everybody back together and Homer's like, no, Lisa's, you know, the man now. And uh, Marge is like, well, what about Bart's feelings? And he's like, boys don't have feelings, they have muscles. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good episode. The hockey one was good. the best one, though. That is a good one. That's a really old school, heartfelt episode. Yeah. The hug at the end. And... The hug at the end and yeah. the hockey one with the... Uh... Gosh, I lost my train of thought. And for some reason, Marge is collecting the host's teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Simpson, do you have my teeth? Oh. No. My little buddy can sit up front with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, thanks, Dad. Uh, no, my little girl you. buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I think my, well, my favorite episode is in season four, Last Nights at Springfield, with Power Plant Goes on Strike, Lisa's singing and playing the guitar. Homer's the president's yeah. union. What was it when he was talking, the bit at the end when he's talking to Mr. Burns? Oh, that's my favorite scene yeah. out of any episode ever. That's why that episode's <laughs> my favorite. Me. Yeah, it, Burns is trying to bribe him. He's like, well, if I should slip something in your pocket, what's the harm? Is he coming on to me? After all, well, something, something makes good for good pet fellows or whatever. Oh my God, he is coming on to me. Sorry, Mr. Burns, but I don't go in for these backdoor shenanigans. Sure, I'm flattered. Maybe even a little curious. Yeah. But the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, <laughs> so, are we butchering our sad scene here? Hannah? Yes, definitely. On? So, okay, sorry. This is the first time that this scene comes about. We've seen it several times. This is the first time they give us the dialogue. And so, Bart's. Bart. <laughs> Dart's father. Dart's <laughs> Dart. <laughs> Dart's father says, Take care of Dart. So, he knows that he's going back to the village to fight the black monster and die, but he's trying to defend their hometown. She says, I'm going to protect your home down with your father. And she's peacing out. She's like, Live Dart, take care of Dart. And then she runs back in. Yeah. And Dart turns around and looks. Well, like, they both ran off knowing that they were going to die. And Dart says, Dart, take care of Dart. And then Dart starts running into the yeah. town. It's only five at the time. Looking a little pudgy there, Hannah. It's got a parka on. It's in Mill City. Oh, old, okay. That's country. What it it's a parka. Why doesn't he put it back on when he travels here? Well, he's all man now. He doesn't need <laughs> to. He's just that to show off armor the muscles. Abs. Yeah. Yeah. Dart's mom left him. Yep. Dart, take care of Dart. 108 years when the moon that never sets glares red, the moon child descends to the earth and she'll give a holy blessing to the world. Esther said, what really appears is not the moon child, but the black monster. What kind of relationship exists between the black monster who destroys all of the moon child who blesses them? Damn it, Rose. Rose what do you, do you know? know? So I think you missed in the dialogue there. She says, the moon with the black power, we took this world back together. I won't let them take it first. I'm assuming she's got a concussion or something. Yeah, she's, she's not just lying down, down and she's got a true no, seal or she's injected by You'll see when Mirror pulls her up, like Albert's got a hold her up. She's rough shape. The dark just returned her favor. Yeah, look. Oh my god, look. It looks like Miranda's got hooves. <laughs> oh my god, I never noticed that. Is that just that one graphic here where they're all drawn together? I guess, kind of. One oh, leg is so much smaller than the other. Oh, or yeah, just feeds her a carrot or something, right? Yeah. Keep her going. So, so we, we know Lloyd is after, he's gotten, gotten the two divine moon objects, objects so far. There's one more in Milsey's oh, over here that he needs. We don't know why. But, but Miranda, Miranda won't talk about it. it. What's wrong with her? He's... Oh, yeah. What do horses eat? <laughs> the hay, carrots. Let's take sugar her back cubes. to the stable. Give her some hay. Give her a sugar cube. Sugar cube, that'll make her talk. 
or a salt, salt lick. lick. Not one of them told me. Salt lick. What's a salt lick? I don't know. That's the bowl. Oh. What's the episode? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you love me. Even when you're mad at me, I still see love in your eyes. Oh, we're not getting a pony. Ah, you love me. <laughs> so you making me you gonna make me give up the horse or whatever she calls it, Princess Buttercup or something? Lisa, nobody can make you give up that pony. You have to look deep inside yourself and decide what's right. Or, I can just give you five minutes with it. There's so many good episodes. Oh my god, I know. Early Simpsons is the golden era of TV. Mark become er not Mark uh. Marge becomes a police officer. Yeah. Going through the yard there with Gene counterfeits. Yeah. And now Counterfeit the Levi's. The good boys. Just take me for a troll. Yeah. I want to enjoy, enjoy the horse. Everybody, everybody guys laughing. Laugh. Welcome aboard. <laughs> <Lord. laughs> and then there's too much corruption on this horse. I quit. Everybody guys laughing. Ugh. Good to miss you, Simpson. <laughs> Just and at the end when she's going around the yard. Checking everywhere with her kind of mm -hmm. just bare possibilities. She's popping out with Manny from a bush. I guess it is a little bit Trying to make fun of the uh, shooting range targets, yeah. right? You miss the baby, you miss <laughs> the old woman. Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, too funny. What movie is it that they're, they're making, making fun of in that? Is it the police academy? Yeah, yeah, it is. The uh, overall episode is Place of Camp. Yeah. yeah. I never saw uh, that movie, but I know it's You should have watched it. I mean, you've watched uh, something recently that yeah, opened that's your true. eyes to I never things. realized that's true. So we watched, well, uh, it was the first time watching it for me, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. What's the name of that movie? Yeah, the book is named differently. Than yeah, okay, it's so Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, they know. They know. Anyway, so we watched that the other day, and it was my first time watching it, and I never realized that the Garbage Man parody in The Simpsons when Homer is the sanitation commissioner is based on Ilanka. Yeah. There's other stuff too, like Lots episode jokes. Uh, yeah. That probably when you saw it went right over your head, but yeah, now when you watch it again, you... Because there was an episode of Family Guy, wasn't it? Oh, okay, guys, well. oh. I think it was when Peter tried to get a job at the beer factory. It was supposed to. In yeah, retrospect, it was the. Peter works at the pot tucket. Yeah. Oh, no, he works at the toy thing at first, and then he gets in the. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. That episode where he changes jobs over there is just the Peter Griffin episode. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
for a while until Miro gets perky step she's because even though Rose is still stronger than Miru, Miru just goes three times to Rose's one. Do you know what I mean? That Miru just becomes your top. The beatener. Yeah. And then especially where we're going in the fourth disc, everything is magical creatures and enemies, and just... Miru... Even if I didn't have the Phantom Shield on her, her magic defense is out of this world. Putting a magic shield, or the Phantom Shield on her, it's just insane. This is interesting. So, what's going on? This has happened a few days ago, because yes, for us it takes like, what, 20 minutes to run from the Mount Mortal Dragon Tomb back to Deningrad, everything, yada yada, but in reality you gotta think this took days in their universe kind of thing. So this is a few days ago, they've just stopped hearing the howl of the dragon in the mountain, and they're coming through to see if they can find the heroes coming back kind of thing. So Wink is with her bodyguards here and going through the forest. This was probably maybe a week ago or something. So where would Dart and company be at this point? We're still on the mountain on our way back. Because okay. they've stopped hearing the Divine Dragon. And they're heading towards the mountain? Why? They want to, because we haven't been back yet. Oh, they're, they're going to see. check on yeah. us. I see. There's one of the Bartle brothers. Is he younger Bartle? He's the youngest Bartle. Oh, I took a guess, and sure enough, his name popped up telling yep. me I was correct. Mm-hmm. You can see the humans go to hell. So now Lloyd, don't forget, Lloyd can teleport, so he'll be ahead of us no matter what we do. Is there an understanding of his power? How far can he teleport? They don't really get into it, but oh. he is one of the stronger... Like, the Wingleys back years ago were much stronger and could teleport wherever they wanted. But their magic power has diminished over the years of not using, not practicing, not whatever. And hiding away in their little settlements and everything, right? But Lloyd is one that has honed his powers more than any of the others kind of thing, right? So look, he can block all the attacks coming from this guy, it doesn't phase him. He can teleport pretty far. Like him and Lennis would be one of the few that kind of like kept up on there. This guy just blows himself up trying to kill Lloyd with him. He chosued him. Ch what? Chosu. What's that? Chosu is Tien's little. Oh, I was like, you know the guy. You're trying to say kamikaze? Like <laughs> no, Chosu, yeah. When he killed himself trying to fight Nappa, Hannah, you know, I, it let out a manly tear when I said <laughs> <laughs> a manly tear. <laughs> Go away, Leon. No, maybe later tonight, <laughs> will. but not right now because I'm still awake. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> Wait. I had a manly tear for Chosu. Just died. Oh, God, I hate Come you. on, she must know that. You know the Dragon Ball Z story, don't you? From I was huge into, into it when I was a kid, but I haven't followed it since I was probably 13. Listen, or after 30 years, it doesn't change at all. I know, I know. I just, oops. I, uh, that third one on hers is what always gets me. I'll get any other count on hers, but I always anticipate there to be a counter there. Uh, no, I don't remember anything about... I remember the characters like Piccolo and Frieza and Vegeta and the Super Saiyan stuff and everything, but I don't... Um, I don't, and that's kind of... Oops, that's what cut why I wanted to get Kakarot, honestly. If it wasn't a 3D fighter, because I don't like that battle system, I would have got Kakarot. No, that's a terrible Kakarot. battle system. Yeah, yeah I, that's, that's why I, I... And that's why I got out of Dr the Dragon Ball universe, because... Because all Budokai, the PlayStation 2 fighting games Budokai were the same Tenkaichi thing. Budokai was yes. brutal, and I yeah. just could not deal with that operator. A 2D... That, f I can't yeah. understand it. Like, a 3D fighter just... I don't know, but that Tekken does well. Why did they have... Why are Tekken they wasn't a 3D fighter. Tekken's a 3D fighter. No, not a, and not a Tekken 2 and Tekken 3. Well, you, the later ones. Oh, right? are they? That's why I didn't go to the You never show. played Tekken in the arcade? Years ago? Yeah, of course I did, but it was always 2D fighters. Really? Yeah. We must be thinking about different games. Right yeah, now. we must be. Look it up. Tekken's 2 I'll, I'll bring I've, up I've a got picture. Tekken 2 and Tekken 3 here. They're not 3D fighters. I'll bring up a picture, and you can tell us what's going on screen. 
But Eddie is the man. I use Eddie all the time. And actually, if you're good with Nina, she's pretty good too, that hooker. But we've just found out that Queen Teresa's been abducted. It's not a 3D fighter? It's not a 3D fighter. But it moves around the whole square no, arena. No, Nope. So what would you call that? It's it's only side to side. But you can strafe around somebody. No, you can't. Can't you? You can't, you can't go back further in the level. It's only side to side. Oh, I thought you can move no, around we'll, like bunny. We'll put it in later. We'll play it tonight if you want. It, the two, Tekken 2 and Tekken 3 are only... Actually, we have players. a video we played it. So we can look that up on the channel. I'm yeah. telling you, that's King and Paul. King and Paul. King Paul? The third? You're the third. He's the latest Uhtred adventurer yeah. companion. Oh my god, because of all this stuff, I'm sure The Last Kingdom's gonna be... Everything's postponed. Yeah, well, it might be shot, but it might not be edited right now, right? So... Definitely. Everything probably is postponed. Oh, should we save before we go in here? How we do? We should cut this off. Yeah, we should, this, we should, yeah. we should, we should. It's been about like Yeah, we got minutes. carried away. All right, so we're going to separate this now. Maybe we'll keep recording, but I'm going to go back and save and we'll... So we'll just, as you're running out, we'll cut the video. Yeah, all right, Because we can guys. just run back into town. Well, thank you. And we'll catch you for the next one, let's hope. Perfect, thanks, guys. Don't forget guys. to like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy. And share, and like again, and, and thumb up on the like. Double <laughs> like, thumbs. Yeah, all that. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah.